Welcome to the press conference after the women's pursuit in Pokryuka. Congratulations to Kaiser Makarain uh, from Finland winning first place, Dorothea Vieira from Italy winning second place, and third place goes to Paulina Vialka re representing Slovakia. Um, Kaiser, congratulations. It was a perfect race today, 20 hits, very fast skiing. What was it like out on the course today? Uh, thank you. I think it was an amazing race for many of uh, the girls. I don't really remember when so many athletes would have been shooting clean in the in the first uh, top top places and yeah, I enjoyed a lot, but I had to work hard on the course because I knew that Doro is faster shooter and uh, so she can always take some seconds on the range and and of course you never know what happens on the range so have to push really hard on every loop. I didn't feel so strong on the course than yesterday, but uh, yeah, it was strong enough. <laughs> so does this influence you when when you know that you have such a strong chaser behind you? Uh, all of uh, the athletes who are here on the uh, are, are tough racers, so you cannot uh, think that everything is clear before it's really on the finish line because in battle anything can happen and but I like the situation we all like the sport and the excitement and yeah today was exciting race I think this is the sixth time you win a pursuit after you have won a sprint can you tell us a little bit about how you prepare mentally for a pursuit after you won a sprint race Oh, I don't have any preparations, <laughs> any special things. Uh, every week is so different. It depends on yesterday. It was a lot of hassle after the race. I was at the hotel just before six o'clock in the evening. And then just the ba basic things, what you really need to do, go to shower, eat, eat a lot, and then take little massages and so on. It's nothing really special. It felt today when I came to the stadium that okay it was just a few hours ago when i was here and now i should be ready to uh, race again but uh, it's it was the same for everybody and yeah so let's talk about this week in general here in uh, pokliuka you have not missed a shot in standing in the three uh, last races here um what is what is the feeling leaving pokliuka going to hochfilzen for you yeah i uh, i like pokliuka and uh, yeah, it is uh, standing and uh, also the pro shootings, it has been feeling feeling good and um, also quite easy conditions here, not, um, not too much wind and um, yeah, no, right now the shooting feels, feels good and I hope that the feeling continues. Of course we will get some mistakes, that's natural, that will come, but, uh, but in general if it feels good then it's, I'm, I'm happy with it like that. Congratulations again, Thank Kaiser. You. Doro, actually, you also had a perfect race today. Is Kaiser unbeatable when she has a clean shooting? Uh, I think uh, I think so. So <laughs> she is so fast on track also. And uh, me, when I come to the shooting range today, I saw always that she was clean. And uh, so I was a little bit under pressure, <laughs> especially on the last uh, range. Uh, but I think I hit all and uh, the track uh, the skiing was okay, the last round it was just easy, so that was good. <laughs> yeah, you said that the race had a certain logic, so Kaiser was gaining time on the loop and then you took this ti time back on, on the range. Uh, did you go to the range at one point and think, oh, when she, when she finally missed that one shot? <laughs> I was thinking in the last range, maybe, maybe she will miss one now. <laughs> but then I was, uh, I had to, to care about me because, uh, I, yeah. It's it's uh, it can happen in one second that you miss one. So, but it was good. <laughs> Where do you see the little percentages uh, that you can could gain to make to make up to Kaiser and and challenge her again for the victories? Uh, I saw she was always uh, she went always away when I come. So it was like impossible to to catch her. So she was better. <laughs> but you are uh, leaving Pokliuka in the yellow bib. Um, you'll be the World Cup leader when we go to Hochfilzen. Are you looking forward to this? Yes, it's uh, nice, but uh, I'm, I don't think about that. And uh, of course, Hochfilzen will be different again. And uh, like every race, it will be 
something else so or some other girls on the podium so congratulations again thank you thank you Paulina, welcome to the podium how do you feel <laughs> great <laughs> thank you i didn't expect i will be so strong this season so uh, i would like to say thank you to my coaches firstly and uh, yeah, i am happy here <laughs> But it's not really a surprise to see you on the podium. You had a very strong week here in, in Pokaljuka. Uh, did you plan to attack today? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. I, I, will keep, I will try to keep my shape <laughs> so good, but you don't know what happens next week. It can be so good or... I don't know. <laughs> so your race today, you had a very, very close battle with, with Lisa for the third place. Did you know that you would always beat her on, on this final loop or how was your feeling leaving the fourth shooting uh, with her together? My, my feeling during the race was uh, really great. I, I feel comfortable first for loops uh, and in last loop I tried to give full gas and, <laughs> and catch uh, Lisa and uh, I finished her. So I'm happy about this. In the last race last season, you were on the podium, and now you are again on the podium at the first uh, stage of the World Cup. So did this uh, uh, podium in Tumen give you a lot of confidence over the summer that you know you now belong to the world-class athletes? Of course, it was motivation, not only for me, but uh, also for all team. And uh, now I'm happy to begin the season like I finished the last one. <laughs> Thank so. you very much, Fanny. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions from the audience? Seeing none, this concludes our press conference. Thank you very much.